Welcome back to the Righteous Rock Show. We play the only rock that's right. Well, welcome again, Mr. Bill Mentioned, to the Righteous Rock Show. Houston, we have liftoff. Thanks <laughs> for having me back. You're welcome. You're welcome. What, what, what have you been working on since we last spoke? Oh, loads of stuff. <clears throat> well, back in, uh, way back a long time ago, I think it was uh, back in 2011, I uh, was working on a Redeemer uh, album, so revisiting some old material uh, at the request of our management, Janice Sweet, and uh, had Robert Sweet, my cousin Bruce mentioned in on it, and it uh, came out great. We put that out. Unfortunately, some of our timing was a little bit uh, off. That was circumstances beyond our control. I know that sounds cliche, but it really was. And uh, about that time, the, the, the new Mention album, In the Light, came down the pipe, and that, so they kind of collided together, and people bought them and listened to them anyways. We had fun with that. But uh, most recently, uh, just released uh, this week, it's downloadable right now. It's a new Seventh Power album, group Seventh Power, uh, album called Eternal Power. It's uh, on iTunes and Amazon right now. Yeah, he's got them all there. <laughs> it's a walking billboard. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <clears throat> uh, the CDs are supposed to arrive in about another four or five days, I think. And uh, we're pretty excited about that so far. The reception of the people have downloaded is people are pretty. Uh, Pretty stoked and up about it. It's, uh, it's going for good. Yeah, we. Uh, I had the opportunity to go over there uh, a couple weeks ago and hear it, and it's uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, well, so is the Redeemer One Way and the uh, the uh, Mention in the Light. Both are are, are really good as well. I, I think uh, you know tops in that of those bands. You know. Well, thanks, and you know, it, we, we're pretty satisfied with them. The, uh, the Seventh Power has an interesting, uh, that Eternal Power album, is something that started about three years ago. Uh, Robert Sweet was at my house one day, we're just kind of hanging out, and he says, you know, he says, why don't you make me a song? Let's, let's make a song, let's try an experiment. Make the heaviest song you can think of. And I'd, I'd come up with something uh, the next day, and he came back by and listened, and he goes, wow, that's really good. I'm gonna throw some drums down to it. Well, by the time he came back to do the drums a few days later, I had another song to go with it. And I said, well, maybe, are you sure this other one's not better? And he says, no, let's do the first one, but maybe I'll, I'll track them both. And Well, I got on a roll. You know, sometimes when you're songwriting, you get into a groove and a vein, and, and it just starts rolling, and you can't stop. Well, over the next uh, six or seven days, I wrote a whole album's worth of material. And he says, what do you want to do with this? I said, I don't know. You know, you were, you were asking for it. You started it, you know. <laughs> it's his fault. He started it. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, he tracked them all, and... and we weren't sure what to do with the album, and it's we've been maybe looking for different, various different singers and people offering it to people for you know, like I say, almost three years, and about a month or so ago, I was just looking around, going, you know, it's a shame we can't do anything with that. I never thought that I could sing to it. I just thought, you know, it really wasn't meant for me. I think it was meant for something else. But after close to three years, <clears throat> I kind of had a change of heart over it. I guess I thought, well, let me try one. So I tried one and I thought, well, that's pretty good. It was kind of tough, a little bit different vocal melodies and things that I'm used to doing. Uh, it's a very dark, heavy, progressive album, but it's got very up and very positive sounding lyrics. So it's kind of odd in that sense. You usually don't hear metal this heavy with these kinds of cheery lyrics and then to, to be even throw another curveball in it. All the, most of the leads are really, really super bluesy sounding. So it's kind of a strange, uh, but I realized then, you know what, this is a Seventh Power album. And once I got on a roll, just like when I wrote all the all the, the guitar parts and Robert came in and just once he started rolling, he just blew through the whole album on drums and I did the same thing on vocals and, and here we have a new album. We're really excited. Uh, got a, a new uh, private independent record label uh, called Wrenchin Mention Records. And this is going to be the first release on it. We're really excited about it. And uh, you hear it here first too. Yeah, yeah, you are hearing it here first. It's been a, a well kept secret until now. Thought we'd cool. uh, thought we'd let the cat out of the bag here on the Righteous Rock Show. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're 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 we can't wait to um, to get that album. Like I said, it's 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 like a it's like a worship metal album. And I don't know how that could how that really goes together, but it does. It, it you know a lot of the most of the uh, most of the, the lyrics are based on scripture or, or uh, what I call sliced and diced sections. I don't like to just throw it in there real cheesy. I try to make it artistic, but I have to keep the integrity of what's written there. And uh, in the lyric sheets in the album even have little scripture references after them. So they're trying to get people into the word. You know, when I sat down and write the, the lyrics on this album, I thought, 
What's the most profound thing I can say to anybody? I mean, what if this is the last album I make before I die? What is my statement here? I thought, you know, I don't know how well I relate to people. I, I kind of lived an unusual life that probably most people can't relate to. And I thought, you know, I, if I can get people into the Word, that would be the most profound thing that I could do. And uh, I think I, you know, I did a fairly artistic um, uh, way of kind of rearranging some popular sections of scripture and probably a few that people don't know about and I put the references in the uh, in, in the lyrics there so people will don't have to guess where they're coming from and they can go look them up and, and that's what I'm hoping if people maybe haven't opened up their book for a long time they'll open it up and look at my lyrics and for sure I hope they really get even if they don't like my lyrics maybe at least they'll get looking at something that's worthwhile yeah get them into the word for sure um what was that one um that one tune that uh, I heard I forget the name of it. It's not. It's a very unusual pronunciation. Oh, uh, to tell us die, which is actually uh, it's a Greek word that best translated into uh, English as "paid in full." That's uh, one of the last things that Christ said on the cross uh, before he died, before he gave up his spirit. The last thing he said was to tell us die. So it's finished right there. Um, uh, I've recently come in contact with a, who's somebody who's an immediate family member now. Uh, a Greek pastor from Greece who's living in un uh, London, England right now. Really cool guy. Uh, his name is Kikos Papadopoulos. So obviously he's not from Mexico with a name <laughs> like that, I guess you wouldn't say. And, uh, you know, he, uh, I asked him about that, and I had the idea to call a song to tell us die. And, uh, and I asked him how to pronounce that, and I was cringing because I knew he was going to say that we had it wrong. <laughs> And we do. <laughs> it's uh, the, the proper pronunciation is de de. Mm. They don't really have the same, uh, you know, the Greek language has its own uh, characters. They don't use the Roman alphabet like we do. And uh, so when they write it in English as close as they can, it's really to totally wrong. And uh, something that just happened, I'm going to spring this on you right here, uh, something that just happened this week, I had the idea to. Uh, really to have the whole song done in Greek I asked him if he would translate it for me the next day he sent me back all the lyrics translated in Greek and uh, pretty soon I'm going to uh, start working on that and we're gonna have the whole song in Greek and it'll be downloaded on the internet uh, it, obviously it, it, missed, cool. it missed the first pressing of this album uh, I don't know if we'll have it on a disc at some time but it will be downloadable from iTunes and Amazon and uh, that'll be a kind of a fun thing but he, I, he told me not to start recording it yet uh, he had to tell me that because he knows I move quick, and uh, when I get on something, I really, I really roll up my sleeves and get it done. He says, "Don't do it yet. We got to talk on the phone about this because we don't know how to say these words <laughs> right." So I want to do it right, and uh, I think it'll be pretty cool, and it'll certainly sound strange. It'll be—I don't know how many uh, Greek heavy metal songs there are in the world, but uh, I don't know of any. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be one. So I, that's, that's not a little sidebar. We're kind of excited about that. It'll be a very interesting project. That is cool, man. So that's to uh, to. Uh, exclusive uh, news things coming out of the mention camp uh, that sounds uh, sounds awesome I never 
How we doing out there this evening? All right, sounds like a rock show in here. I like it, very, very good. Let my people go.
producer on your door. You sign the names as if in blood and continue to ask for more. With dollar signs in your eyes, you push them, drive them hard. You become the thing they sing against. That's what makes them stars. And I say to you, Make unto Moses, go in unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, let my people go, that they may serve me. You draw the men with sugar, then you give them salt, telling them you know what life is for. Devil, I know that's not all. They follow you blindly from behind the gates of hell. Everyone's the 
Right there 
Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, on bass guitar. All right, thank you. Sin. 
the prophets cry In him there is blessing and liberty Forgiveness is his way In him there's a ransom for you and me New life every day Don't shoot the messenger
Productions.